Hi, Shoreline students. My name is Lauren. I'm a librarian here at Shoreline, and I'm here to show you how to get an ebook from ProQuest eBooks and put it on an Android tablet or an Android phone. We have thousands of eBooks on ProQuest eBooks. Many students don't like reading an eBook on their computer, so you'll feel like you're reading it on a book-like device. Um, you'll be able to turn the pages on something like this. So let me show you what it looks like on this Android tablet. Here is the cover of Japanese fairy tales. Once the cover page is loaded for you, you can start turning the pages. You can tap the right side of the screen to turn the pages forward and the left side of the screen to go backwards. For a book like this, sometimes you don't want to read it cover to cover. You want to read one fairy tale at a time or you want to jump around in the book. And that's the case with a lot of our books because we have test manuals, nonfiction books, and you maybe just have one chapter on your topic in some of those books. So if you tap the top of your screen, you'll see a menu with three lines open like this. As I said, our library offers thousands of titles of ebooks for you to read on your devices. And if you'd like to learn how to download them, I'll show you how to use Adobe Digital Editions or ProQuest eBooks to do just that. It's easier to do this first part on a computer. So I'll navigate to adobe.com to show you how to sign into your account or sign up for an account there. Once you absolutely know your email address and password for your Adobe account, you're ready to switch to your Android tablet. Go ahead and tap the Play Store icon and look for Adobe Digital Editions. Tap the green open button and tap the three lines on the upper left to see the menu. Choose settings and then tap the large gray button that says authorize. It will have you enter the email address and password for the account you just made on your computer. You wanna see the message that says this device has been activated. Your tablet or phone is now ready to check out eBooks. In order to check out eBooks, you have to go through your library's portal. So open a browser on your tablet or phone and navigate to shoreline.edu. Choose Campus Life Library. And once you're on the library's website, tap Research, then choose Books. ProQuest eBook Central is the last choice in the first box. Choose ProQuest eBook Central Log in with your Shoreline username and password. If you need help with your Shoreline username and password, click the key icon next to the hyperlink for ProQuest eBook Central. When you find a book that you want to download on ProQuest eBooks, click Download eBook. ProQuest will prompt you to sign in. This is different than the sign in for Adobe and your college username and password. Make a new account for ProQuest eBooks and sign in now. When you click download book, ProQuest will ask you what device you're using. Click Android, then continue. When it tells you you need Adobe Digital Editions, click done with this step in the lower right. Once you're signed in, when you click download, a file will download to your tablet. If that file doesn't automatically open, go ahead and find it in your downloads and open it. When it opens, it will open Adobe Digital Editions and you will see your ebook you chose being downloaded to that app. You will have to switch back to your browser to continue to download more ebooks. Want more videos like this? What would be helpful or interesting? We read your comments. Follow our channel for more helpful videos on YouTube. Ray Howard Library at Shoreline Community College.